Good morning, YouTube. It's Molly. Say good morning, Molly. Just before 9.30, I think. And I am off today on the errand agenda. Oh, there's a bag in there. Um, not eating a mosquito would be number one. Uh, I am going to Frank's Bargain Center, which is a fabric store, because I need some lining fabrics. I generally don't buy from him, because for a bargain center, his prices are quite expensive um, for what I'm looking for. I have a price point for that I buy at for my linings, and his is generally just above that, but he has one particular fabric that I love to use for linings. Don't you hate wearing a hood and then finding out it's all rolled up? So I want to go see if he has that in. Um, he does buy clothes out, so he might not have it anymore. I haven't bought it in a few years from him, actually. And then I have to go to Tractor Supply, get dog food. Whew, you get to see all my beautiful faces today. And then I need to go to, I'm going to stop at Dollar General on the way home, pick up something for Kristen. She needs, um, Jolly Ranchers because she gets dry milk, so... That's what I'm going to do this morning, and hopefully I'm going to do it fairly quickly. Frank's can take forever, though, so let's see. Every time I come here, Frank tries to get me to buy 100 yards of fabric. I think I would be looking for a new place to live. As it is, I got that big, huge bag. I found some of what I wanted, but not everything. And they didn't have the one I was going for. So I'll show you what I got when I get home. I think I'm going to make unexpected, unplanned, but very important stop. And it is right up here, or it used to be. Oh, it's further up. It's further up. It's coming. I haven't been up this way since Kristen lasted physical therapy, which she hasn't done in a few months. So, even before that, because she was coming by herself. Alright, we are here for our very important stop. Dunkin' Donuts. Erin runs on Dunkin's. Not really. Alright, I am back from my errands and I was going to show you the fabric that I bought. Come and help me then. Come and help me. Okay, let's try this again and see if Dewey will behave. I got this cute fox fabric. What was this by? I can't remember. Oh. Uh, Flemington. I got this Batman because I don't have this one. I think I'm going to make some pillowcases. This is an Alexander Henry print. I love his prints. They're always so... They're kind of wacky. Quirky, but cute. I got this um, Southwestern print. Uh, I've never done anything like this in the shop before, but I thought it was really pretty and would look really nice as a bag. I get do his toy because he's a diva and the lining's going to be this yellow. I got some Batman versus Superman fabric. 
The rest of what I purchased is what I went for, which is lining fabrics. I wasn't able to get everything, but I got this um, brown, like beige on brown and white print. Nice neutral to have in the middle of bags. This you, yeah, white on white. Some red tonal. This is the yellow I was talking about to go with the uh, um, Southwestern. I wish they had more in this style, but they didn't, so I bought all that they had of that. A pink in the tonal, a green in the tonal. It's not as lime green as it's showing in the camera. It looks really nice with that Alexander Henry print I showed you. I thought this was a nice play on the polka dot. It's a, a brown, orange, pink. It would go with uh, several things. A magenta or aubergine tonal and a lavender tonal. I find that the tonals go, you know, are nice because you don't need the fancy print on the inside. You are being a twerp. A twerp. So cut bags and I took the first suggestion that was given to me and that was knit stitch. Sorry for the shadow. And I'm doing today, there's only five bags to be sewn today and they are purple knit stitch. Actually four are knit stitch and one is the woodland creatures again. So that's what's on the agenda for today. I'm going to have to go upstairs and get some zippers because that's what's up next. They're all interfaced already. So He's helping me again. Oh my gosh, this chair is so squeaky. As I ran errands, it was a small scale sewing day, but I got five bags done and now I'm taking my pictures for Etsy. Dewey and I are upstairs. We're putting away the new fabric. <sighs> I wasn't allowed to leave without him. And it's very exciting. What more can I tell you? I'll show you how I store my fabric in just a second. This is how I store my fabrics. I sort by type, not color. And I fold them into, um, I fold them on my six inch, 20, six by 24 inch ruler. And then I fold them in half. That's what they look like. And here is the stock for Etsy, which I my next thing to do is to go through it and make sure everything's listed because I think a few things might be missing. And there are a couple more bags over on the table for when I do TJF tomorrow too. So. It's 10 past 5 and Kristen just got off of work and went outside to cut the lawn because it's already ridiculously tall. Um, let me see if you can see her. No, not yet. Um, and last night I burned popcorn. Well, I didn't burn popcorn. I make my popcorn, my microwave popcorn, in a brown paper bag with kernels. And the part of the bag, I didn't leave enough space and it scorched. So I'm trying a a hack I found online to get the burnt popcorn smell out because we're having leftovers tonight and I don't want to cook my leftover pasta in burnt popcorn. The hack was uh, half a cup of water and a tablespoon of vinegar. I put in a little more because it's a bit strong, the smell, um, and to microwave it for two to three minutes and then leave the cup in. Here comes Kristen. Oh, she's turning around. Oh, it's out of control. Will she make it? Will she make it? She'll make it. Um, so you microwave it on high for two to three minutes, and then you let it sit in the microwave for 10 to 15, it says. So we're gonna be eating a little later, so I'm gonna do that. And then I have to finish the dishes. And I think that I am going to Cut some bags out to prep for tomorrow. <coughs> you two need to stay in right now. Mommy's cutting the lawn. Say hi, YouTube. And I need to vacuum. My floor's atrocious. Both of the boys are under the table helping me now. And in my own business, sewing in a zipper. That's not gonna work. So I got those all zippers in. Just need to top stitch them. We've got a Molly out here. Got a Kristen down there. I 
finish mowing the lawn before the rain because it's gonna rain for the next two weeks every day. Molly is watching patiently and waiting. Hey Molly. Molly, did I do a good job? You want to go in? Dewey, did I do a good job, buddy? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, you two. I'm talking to you. Hey. Goofballs. Dewey. Oh, no. We're not going to do that. Oh, yeah. Mow the field. Ticks are my enemy. Want to annihilate them. Hey, Max. Maxwell, did I do a good job, buddy? Come here. What you doing? Having dinner. What are you having? Leftovers. Gourmet a spaghetti? Yeah. How was your day? It's good. It's busy. I'm really glad tomorrow's Friday. Oh, tell me about it. It's been crazy busy at work. Has it? I've been crazy busy at work. That's too. why I haven't been on camera. Long work days. And we took yesterday off because we just needed a short break. I've been crazy busy at work too. Mm -hmm. Been busting my buhonkis. My boot. Okay. Margaret's word, buhonkis. Molly's been working hard too. Look there, she's working really hard. Molly was was it yesterday she was sick? Yeah, she was sick. What was the other reason? She's 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 really There's Max. There's the star. There's the star of the show. We're gonna watch MasterChef Junior. Uh -huh. We don't watch it with the adults. We only watch it with the kids. Molly, can you say goodnight to YouTube? Molly, I'm says busy. I'm busy. Can you say goodnight, YouTube? Can you say goodnight, YouTube? The time has come to say goodnight. And tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. You're tired. A little bit. You need to go to bed early tonight. I think I did six miles. It's great. 14,000 steps. Uh-huh. Say goodnight to the YouTube. Goodnight say, to the YouTube. Say goodnight to our, to your adoring fans. I don't have any. Oh, I would disagree. I would disagree. Goodnight, YouTube. Goodnight, YouTube.